amigos, is the Cisco Kid. Come ride with Poncho and me on this exciting adventure, which we have called San Fernando Fire. The pride of the town of San Fernando was the shiny red fire engine, which had been imported from the east, sailed around Cape Horn, and now was lodged in the firehouse near the bank. It was because of this fire engine that Pancho and I very nearly met death at the hands of two bank robbers. And it was because of gold that the two tight-lipped, grim-faced desperados reined their horses toward the bank. Hey, there's more folks in this town of San Fernando than I expected, Link. We'll do this job just like I said we would, Nick. Another few minutes and that banker will be coming down the street to open the bank. I'll point him out to you. You know what? Put the gun on his back and walk him in and keep him busy while you round up whatever cash there is, right? Right. Heads up. There's the bank. Hey, Link. What's that? Bank alarm? Uh, I don't know. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that cancels our plans for the bank. Look there. The sheriff just came out of his office. He's looking this way. Uh, he ain't looking at us. He's watching the doors of that big barn. Now, well, there's your answer. And there's your bank alarm. Well, what do you know? A fire engine. And being pulled by three horses, too. Just like the fancy ones they got from Los Angeles. It's a fire, Link. Let's follow him and see it. Oh, I reckon we might as well. Can't do nothing about the bank. That little hombre driving the fire wagon is the banker. Get up. Here, get up there. Hey, what do you make of that, Link? He brought that fire wagon to a halt down at the end of the street. I don't see no smoke there. Oh, of course not. Whoa, whoa, there. Oh, oh, no. Oh, there ain't no smoke because there ain't no fire. Yeah, that must have been a practice run. Yeah, you've got to be right. No one in town seems excited about it. They're headed toward that fire engine like a bunch of slow sheep. All oh, except that sheriff. He's mad as a hornet. Look at him. Because he's a fire chief, he thinks he can run that fire engine up and down these streets and ever he wants to. Every day for the past week, a practice one and for nothing. Uh, howdy, sir. Howdy, sheriff. Oh, howdy, boys. I'm too busy to stop now. I'm going to put a stop to Patrick Quinn Cannon and his nonsense once and for all. <laughs> You know, them two old coots are aimed to lock horns. That's right, Sheriff. You tell them off good. <laughs> hey, Nick, the way I've been figuring to rob the bank in this town is wrong. Oh, why the change, Lee? We don't need no guns here. All we need is that fire engine and a real fire. Yeah, well, I'm right with you. Stirrup to stirrup. We set a fire and the town turns out to fight it, and while they're busy, we hit the bank. Huh? You're quick on the savvy. Only one thing, Link. Uh, what if someone in town gets curious about what we're doing in the bank? Then we'll have to satisfy his curiosity with the business end of a six-gun and a bunker in Boot Hill. And you mean they really got one in the town of San Fernando, Cisco? That is what I have heard, Pancho. Oh, this more than anything else Pancho got to see. Well, you will see it soon. We are almost in San Fernando. A real fire engine pulled by horses. Pancho never seen nothing like that in his whole life. Hey, look, Pancho. The crowd of people at the edge of town. And there is the fire engine I was telling you about. Where? There. Oh, madre mia, Chico, it's red. Will you not tell Pancho it's such a beautiful red? And look at all that shiny brass. Oh. <laughs> Calm down, Pancho. No need to get so excited. We will stop and you can have a good look at the fire engine. But but where the fire? If the fire engine out, there got to be the fire, no? Well, I've been watching for a fire and have not seen a trace of one. Maybe the fire chief took the rig out for a run so the horses will get some exercise. Oh, oh Cisco, those two hombres in the middle of the crowd, they having the big argument. Uh, what that funny sombrero that one hombre is wearing? Uh, that hombre must be the fire chief. The helmet he is wearing protects his head during a fire. Why, that other hombre he wearing the badge, he's he got to be the sheriff. And the sheriff for this town, I'm telling you for the last time, Patrick Quintenant, you're not going to disturb the peace by running that fire wagon whenever you please. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ah, yes, now, and the one more time, I'm telling you, Ebenezer Dolan, just because you're sheriff and you want to make a fire chief, you're jealous of my position. <laughs> if the sheriff wants to be a fire chief and drive that fire wagon also, Pat Joe. <laughs> oh, that's too bad for Pancho. Now Pancho never get the chance to drive that fire wagon. And everybody 
everybody knows that you got the position as fire chief on account of being a town banker. You're the only one had money enough to put up for the fire wagon. Yeah. Well, by the smash of St. Patrick's Girl Commandment, there's a task of the official that to put, but the whole town knows I put up the money just to look to be paid back. There's not a penny of interest I'm charging that. Well, some of those hombres agree with the sheriff and some agreeing with the fire chief. She's go, well, which one are I? I do not know, Pancho, but the two factions seem to take this argument very seriously. There could be trouble. Ah, uh, case to your fist, is it? <laughs> You're looking for a showdown, Patrick yeah, Quinn-Pennant, and you going to get it. Yeah, that's all, that's if him hooligans back and you aim to start something, there's enough hombres here back and me to take care of them. Yeah. Oh, sure. It looked to Pancho like they're going to fight. Somebody going to get hurt. Yeah, maybe we can stop it. Your pardon, senores. Let me get through, please. <laughs> Who are you? What are you putting your two cents in for, eh? Senores, there is a more peaceful way to settle your argument. Uh, you are going to end up with a riot here, senor sheriff. Most of these hombres are wearing guns. Someone may get killed. Ah, uh, save the strength of your voice, me boy. Talking to that blockhead of a sheriff is just like talking to a stone wall. Oh, then he like all the other sheriffs, Pancho, no senior fire chief. Pancho, get off. Why, you long-nosed jayhawkers, it's who are you two? Oh, not to talk to Cisco like that. Cisco? Yeah. Cisco King, eh? Yes, it's the Cisco kid. Now, you bad carrying old thing, you'll learn a thing or two about the law and order. Oh, figuring to pull the wool over my eyes, were you, Pat Quinn, that that by bringing in that gunslinger? Well, it won't work, will it, boy? Ah, hear me now, Sheriff Doolittle. If you and your scallywag start anything, then enough of the boys in the volunteer fire company to take all of you on. You'll have worse than an Irish rebellion on your head. Oh, put the levers behind. Come on, Please listen to me. See, si, it better you listen to Cisco. A rebellion, is it? Did you hear that, boys? First get the Cisco kid and Pancho, and then we'll take care of this rebellion. Go get up! Yeah. I tell you, I don't like it, Link. It ain't healthy to go through with robbing that bank while a Cisco kid here in town. Tell me something, Nick. What you so scared of Cisco for? Him and Poncho are in jail, ain't they? Yeah, that jughead sheriff back in Yuma had them both in jail when we were in town. And they broke out, didn't he? Yeah, they did at that. Yeah. Just since your Cisco sees us, he'll know what we're in town for. Wait a minute, what are you stopping for, Link? Hey, see that coal oil over at the general store? Yeah, but what about it? We're going over there and buy some of it. Are you loco? What for? So we can go through with our plans for the robbery, you mushhead. Oh, you know Cisco ain't going to stay in that calaboose forever. You don't expect he'll forget about the robbery and the fire, do you? I reckon that's just what he'll do, is we're going to set fire to the calaboose. While the banker is busy playing fire chief and the sheriff is giving him an argument, we'll knock off that bank and beat it out of town. As for Pancho and the Cisco kid, I don't reckon they'll bother us. They'll be burned alive. <laughs> we come to a town, we try to do good, we try to help some hombres. No, Cisco? See, we do, Pancho. But the same old thing happen all the time. It always happens. We get thrown in the jail. Why? Yeah, you know what happened this time, Pancho. The hombres backing the sheriff outnumbered the hombres backing the fire chief. The result? Here we are. Oh, Pancho think we choose the wrong side. Next time we take the side we got the most hombres. Get up, Pancho. Oh, what the matter, Cisco? I heard someone walking under this window. Pancho not seen a body. Neither do I. I'm sure of what I heard. Let's go. Pancho, can you hear me? Well, who that would call us? Oh, open your eyes. Sit down, you boy. Senor Patrick Quincannon. Oh, the senor was the fire chief. Yes, now, and who else would it be but Patrick Quincannon come to help you, lad? Sure, it was a brave thing you'd done when you tried to help me. And it's sorry I am that you're in the caliber of the gunman. Oh, you help us get out of here, senor Pat? What am I about to do, Pancho? Your heart was saddled and ready. And they're tied alongside the bank. But we are still behind the bar, Singer Pat. Only till I can fetch the key to the jail from that trick-headed sheriff. And I have a plan in my mind that'll get it for me. I'll be back right out now. When I do, you just the floor. Oh, that a good hombre. We try to help him, now he help us. When we get out of jail, we must try to find a way to make peace between the sheriff and Singer Pat. Well, Pancho, you hear more footsteps outside, Cisco. Uh, that Singer Pat back already? I do not see anyone. Singer Pat. 
Yeah. Here's Paquin Cannon. Cisco. What that funny smell? I'm not sure. Well, see, it must be. It is coal oil. Whoever we just heard outside must have spilled some coal oil. But why? Oh, not near, Cisco, look. Santos, a fire. So that is the reason for the coal oil. Oh, Cisco, that coal oil will make the fire burn fast. It's, it's getting awful hot in here. The fire's getting closer, Cisco. What we do? What we do? We'll be burned to death. I... What we do? How we get out of here? Santos, the coal oil is burning down the wall of the jail. The rope will soon come tumbling down on our heads. Aye. Oh, that falling beam come close. Pancho, grab one of the blankets from the bunk. See, he's gone. Dip it in this pail of water the sheriff left us. Andre. Oh, Pancho, do it, but, but what for? He's gone. The only way to get out of here alive is to wrap these wet blankets around us and run through that hole in the wall made by the fire. Oh, that wood wall is worn down, she's so, but it is a solid wall of fire there now. It's our only chance. Come on. Have your head and face, Lutzer. All right, he's got back to front of you. Stop, Pancho. Throw the car, huh? Oh, mother of me. Pancho, I can believe we make it. All right. Stop the blanket, Pancho. You do not need it anymore. Get to the horse. See, she's come. Where they are. Wait. Make for the alley alongside the bank. Oh, there come that fire engine to pull out the fire, she's come. Pancho like to see that. Pancho, we must get to our horses and get out of here. That sheriff will be after us. Oh, see, Pancho, forget. Oh, there's the devil and loco, she's gone. There is the devil? At least that banker was telling the truth about the horses. Pancho not can understand why he set fire to the jail. Jail they are! Don't let Pancho and the seats go to the state just because they're far. Get him, boy! Andale, Pancho. Mano para loco. Uh, Pancho, hurry, Pancho, Pancho. Get down where you are, seats go. No, you won't, yeah? All right, then, boys. Cut him down! Yes, Plum Loco Link, you stay in this town after robbing the bank. You're wrong, Nick. The way things turned out, this is the safest place for us. With Cisco and Poncho on the loose? Sure. Oh, Cisco and Poncho will be accused of the bank robbing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. We'll leave the horses here and mingle with that mob over at the jail. <clears throat> leave the horses here? With all that money from the bank in the saddlebags? Sure. Uh, Why should anyone look in our saddlebags when they think Cisco and Poncho stole the money? Come on. Hey, looks like the sheriff's organizing a posse to go after them, too. Cisco kid didn't set fire to this jail by himself. Somebody in town did it to help him and Poncho. No, I ain't mentioning any names, but I get the proof for certain bankers going to answer to me for it. Hey, Sheriff Jordan, Sheriff Jordan. Ah, the bank's been robbed. By all the things, the green item by the peat bogs of County Kentucky, I never would have believed in them. Cisco and Pancho, should they rob me back? Oh, oh, the hard did, did they? But well, it serves you right. You flannel mouthed fire wagon fanatic for setting fire to my jail. Me? Has it been cannon? I never set fire to nothing in my life, except in the buying around the fire wagon. What can kind of answer you spit no? See, just like I said. <laughs> yes, I'm going after them two bandits, Patrick Quinn Cannon, and then I'll send to you. And I'm going with your sheriff, Ebenezer Donatel, and I'm making a reward of a thousand dollars for the capture of Pancho and the Cisco kids. Giving me the back of their hand when I try to help them. A thousand dollars reward? We'll join that posse, won't we, Nick? Sure we will, Nick. Eh? And we all know how dangerous Cisco is. We won't take chances with him dead or alive. We'll just make sure he's dead. Santos, look behind us, Pancho. Over on top of that summit. Oh, madre mía. The sheriff with a big posse after us. He, he better we hurry up, Cisco. No, Chico. Follow me in among these rocks. Hold there, hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I'd feel a lot better if we had our guns. Oh, oh they probably burned up in that fire. But they're seeing her pad up at the front of the posse with the sheriff. See, and it looks as if they're still arguing. Well, you think they still argue now about who's who going to be the fire chiefs? Yeah, uh, they deserve your right, Pat Green and the Cisco Kid and Pancho robbed your bank. Seeing as how you set fire to the jailhouse. I hope you will had it, Sheriff. I've been telling you one more time, I didn't set fire to the jail. Cisco and Pancho did it themselves, so they could escape and after to be back. 
What the sheriff and Senior Pat talking about? Rob the bank. They say we set fire to the jail. They, they, they've been eating local weed. Pancho, those two hombres riding at the rear of the posse. I think I begin to understand. Oh, Cisco, that Link Kroger and Nick Gillette, the, the two mavericks who tried to rob the bank in Yuma oh, when that sheriff there put us in the jail. I'm sure they are the ones who tried to burn us to death. Oh, they're dropping back, Cisco. Uh, they're leaving the posse. Uh, we'll be able to capture them now. Un momento, amigo. There's a safe bet that they are the ones who robbed the bank also. If we wait and follow them, they may lead us to where they hid the money. See, si. if we prove they the ones who steal the money, we'll be able to prove they set the fire too. That is what I have in mind. And if I am right, their days of freedom will soon be over. <laughs> We should have stayed with that posse, Link. And miss this chance, Nick. thing like this happens once in a lifetime. Going back to San Fernando to hold up every store in town? I don't know. Look, chicken head. Every hombre who can fork a bronc or twirl a six-gun is out of that posse. Either on the sheriff's side or on the side of that fire chief. Slow down now. I'm getting into town. Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Yep. Yeah, pull your kerchief up over your face. All right. Unholster your gun. Any of these old codgers give you an argument, kill them. to keep Cisco and Poncho from escaping. Oh, you lie like a snake, you Link Kroger. Uh, no, no. Uh, Link's telling the truth, Sheriff. They were, they were going to take our horses and uh, they put the money that they stole in our saddlebags. Uh, uh, look for yourself. Well, uh, I'm still shooting up. Hold on, old Sheriff. I'm taking to them saddlebags. It's the old money, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I have no doubt you will find the money there, Oblate. But I think I can prove who it was that put it there. Hey, what do you think you're doing, Cisco? <laughs> Cisco, why you push that Gillette Maverick to the ground and take off his boot? Let go of my boot. Let go of me. Well, now, I will let go of you, Coyote. Here is his boot, Sheriff Doolittle. You can still smell the coal oil this bank robber must have spilled on it when he set fire to the jail. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's coal oil, all right. Same as it's used over at the fire. By thunder, maybe you and Pancho ain't guilty of that robbery after all. And here's all the money that was stolen. You should be taken after me with a shillelagh for taking to a road agent to school. Oh, where's that other bank robber? Where's that Link Kroger? Oh, he here just a minute ago. That hombre is just sneaking into the state coast station. Hey, that must have been him. He will not get far. Santa smoke is coming from the back of the state depot. Can only mean one thing. Fire. Oh, 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 o
your brows of acid, Patrick Cannon, and you're about to feel the full weight of the Irish temper. Oh, Cisco, don't you think there's going to be a big riot here in just a minute? Oh, somebody be killed for sure. The only way to stop it is to cool them all down by turning this hose on them. <laughs> they not want to fight no more. <laughs> All right, Pancho. They've had enough. Turn off the water. He's going to turn it off. <laughs> well, I'm sorry I had to get you all wet, senores. But you will dry out and be alive. At the rate you were going, some of you would have been dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I reckon you were right. Get <laughs> you. That is a quick method you have to cool an old Irish temple. <laughs> and for the future, the only way to solve these arguments between the banker and the sheriff is to have two fire chiefs and both of you work together. Now, if the other hombres in town cooperate, this town will be safe from fires and from bank robbers. Well, how about it? Do you want law and order? Ah, sure, sure. Now that we do, Cisco. That's what we want, Cisco. Law and order. <laughs> Cisco. Si, Pancho. Oh, Pancho, glad those two bandidos, they get what's coming to them. They will spend a long time in jail, Pancho. Si. And now the town has got a new jail just because Cisco not take the money offered for the capture of the bank robbers. It is much better that you use your Pat's money to build a new jail. Si. Anyway, I noticed you got a chance to drive the fire wagon after all. Oh, see, Senor Pat and the, and the sheriff, he let Pancho make believe to be the fire chief. How did that happen, well, Pancho? Pancho make a bargain with them that whoever tell the best story about a robbery will be the, the next one to drive the fire wagon. Oh, <laughs> then you told the best story? Oh, see, si, see, si, I told the best story. Well, what story did you tell them? Oh, well, uh, Pancho told them uh, the story about that, that big robbery out by the, the clothesline. The big robbery by the clothesline? What kind of a robbery was that? Two clothespins hold up a shirt. Oh, Pancho! Oh, <laughs> 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 Kid returns next week with another thrilling adventure. This is the United States Armed Forces Radio and Television Service.